Boy, good evening and thanks for joining us tonight for Eyewitness News here at 11. I'm Mark Zinni. And I'm Erin Connolly. Her two-year-old fell from a third floor window last month. And tonight, Tabitha Frank is defending herself and making an emotional plea to the public. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Bryant Reed spoke with her tonight. I thought he was supposed to be here to do something great. Because he was so many things in the beginning of his first life. As she remembers everything good and innocent about her son, two-year-old Cornelius. His smile was every, everything. Tabitha Frank can't help but to fight back tears. I think that day is like the day of this nightmare that I can't seem to shake loose. Frank says she'll never forget the moment she heard Cornelius, who she called Papa, had just fallen from their apartment window on Capitol Avenue. Frank had gone out to get groceries and diapers after she says her refrigerator had broken. She left her 12-year-old daughter in charge of four younger siblings with childcare that she expected to come but never did. Police detailed neglect from Frank, saying her home looked deplorable and uninhabitable. But DCF workers over many visits told Frank she was doing all she could as a single mother of five. But prior to this, as I explained to the workers, I never heard you were a bad mom. I heard, never heard you a neglectful mom or you're not doing something right. I was told constantly by each DCF worker that came to my house, you're doing a good job. You're doing the best that you can. Now Frank is doing more than just trying to fight back allegations of being a bad parent, public perception, and charges that could land her in jail. She's also fighting to pay for her son's funeral. For religious reasons, she wants to bury him, not cremate, but at this moment, she can't afford it. I am not asking, I'm really just begging for help right now because I would like for him to be buried so that his sisters could have somewhere to go, that his ashes are not misplaced. Frank says her family needs more than $6,000 and only a few days to make it happen. A final parting gift of love for her little papa. Bryant Reed, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.